I just reached a very important milestone here with a little project of mine. See, my wife's grandfather, he was a very big tennis enthusiast. So he had this tennis court, but it's been in disuse for at least, I guess, a decade. So uh, nature was having its way with it and reclaiming it. So I've been working here quite a lot for the last two years and uh, restoring it. And uh, now I just finished to remove everything around the, on the surface, all the dust. And I've been taking away here around the edges to get back to the, to the net. I'm probably gonna do something nice on the outside next year. And uh, I mean, a huge part of this tennis court was covered in moss, a thick layer of moss. So it, it, was, it was a disaster when I got here. But uh, you know, incremental improvement. I've been going here a couple of times every week in the summer some weeks even more and it's a, it's a great form of exercise to to lift a couple of hundred of wheelbarrows with with moss and then uh, with the shovels and getting rid of all the the dirt and then also with this uh, absolutely wonderful machine i'm going to show you it's a stiga swp 475 it's like a cleaning machine for big outdoor surfaces you just take it like this and you, you push it in front of you. Maybe I can show it some other time, but now it's so clean so it doesn't work. But it's, it's basically, it feels like using a really big vacuum cleaner. So when I'm running this one, I'm pushing it back and forth and back and forth here and it just gets rid of the dust. And now, finally, tomorrow, we're going to uh, have our way with this cork with a diesel powered high pressure wash and put some surface treatment on it so we get rid of this crap that is growing on it and hopefully it's going to be beautiful again and it's going to be playable this summer we can actually go back and start using this place and it's going to be perfect just get some exercise and my son can come here and play and do some sport i've never been into sports myself but i mean i got like zero excuses now when this project is is finished yeah, another thing that I've been doing, because I mean, there were even small trees growing in from, from the sides to, to go and, and get rid of those. Yeah, that, uh, speaking of which, I have this other tool that is absolutely fantastic. First, I was thinking about buying a powered saw and going at it, but this is what you need. It's like a big giant scissor with a gear also here. Oh, it's better, perhaps this, so you can see. Yeah, you see the cogs. So you get like super, super strong when you use this one. And it's a lot cheaper than a powered saw. And uh, then I just w walk around and just, just cut them, cut them off, cut them away. So I need to get rid of all that debris that is lying around here. And yeah, I don't think it's gonna be finished, finished until perhaps next summer. But uh, at least we can start using it this year. And this, this, feels, this feels really, really great. It's a good feeling to restore things to their former glory. That is sustainability. See ya.